Hi everybody! Have you ever been curious about how humans are able to raise and transport millions of giant Brahmin cattle worldwide? Join me in exploring the outstanding innovations in modern livestock transportation technology, where millions of giant Brahmin cattle are cared for and managed effectively. In the mid-20th century, giant Brahmin cattle made their appearance in the United States and became a crucial part of the livestock industry. They are often found in warm and tropical regions, such as states like Florida, Texas, and Louisiana. You know, marking cattle is an important part of the farming process. This not only helps farmers manage their herds effectively, but also serves as evidence of the long-standing existence of the farm. At Premier Ranch in South Florida, most Brahmin cattle farms typically release them into grassy fields in the morning. They bask in the warmth of the sun and freely graze on the grass. Do you know how the breeding process of this cattle herd takes place? To achieve the best breeding quality and ensure the birth of healthy calves, farmers select the most outstanding cattle. They are arranged in the same space to carry out the mating process. During pregnancy, the mother cows will have their blood tested to ensure there are no signs of abnormalities during the gestation period. This procedure is carried out by experienced veterinarians. Brahmin cattle have a longer gestation period compared to Bose Taurus cattle. Their gestation period extends up to 291 days. Brahmins have average sizes among the cattle breeds found in the United States. Bulls typically weigh between 1,600 to 2,200 pounds and cows weigh between 1,000 to 1,400 pounds on average. After the breeding process, Brahmin calves not only immerse themselves with the affection of their mothers in the early stages, but are also nurtured with their mother's milk until they enter adulthood, lasting from six to nine months. To ensure optimal nutrition, farm owners provide Brahmin cattle with various grains and corn kernels to ensure their meals are nutritionally rich. This helps them thrive and develop robustly.
Brahmin cows are not only famous for their excellent adaptability to the tropical environment, but also for their gentle spirit and ability to live in harmony with many other animals. They play an important role in the livestock industry, contributing significantly to the supply of high-quality beef. If you think these are beautiful cows, please leave number one. Every morning, before being released into the expansive fields, they undergo health and quantity checks using advanced equipment. This not only helps detect any health issues early on, but also ensures that they're in the best condition before stepping into a new day. On average, each large cattle will consume about 2 to 3 percent of their body weight in feed. When evening falls, they are brought back to the farm area to rest. However, it doesn't stop there. The Brahmin cattle are also served a mixture of corn, cornmeal, and silage, essential meals that help maintain health and energy for the entire herd. To ensure all cattle on the farm absorb sufficient nutrients throughout the day, Clean water is always provided, since they consume a significant amount of it. At some other farms, farm owners cook grains with water to feed the cattle. Have you ever heard about this feeding method? It's a technique that many farm owners have experimented with, and it proves to be particularly effective. Cattle find it easier to digest when consumed in a mixed form, ensuring a more consistent daily intake of food and water for each individual. This method facilitates easier control over the daily food and water intake of each cattle. When the cattle reach the appropriate weight for meat processing, they're transported abroad to supply international markets. This process often takes place on specialized transportation vehicles, equipped with multiple compartments to ensure the safety and best care for the cattle throughout the journey. After arriving at the airport, the cattle will have a rest before boarding the plane to ensure they're comfortable and to prevent any adverse situations. Next, they'll be transferred to specialized containers on the plane, ensuring their safety and preventing any possibility of escape during the transportation process. In addition to Brahmin cattle, 
The United States is home to approximately 5,300 wild bison, an estimated 31,000 bison are preserved nationwide each year. Yellowstone, in particular, is renowned for the presence of around 5,300 wild bison. After the mating period, each cow typically undergoes a 24-hour long calving process. On average, the calves weigh over 55 pounds at birth. At these farms, the calves will live with their mothers for seven months before being separated. At around six months, the cattle undergo health checkups and vaccinations. They're placed in an iron cage to measure their weight and then receive the vaccinations. Just imagine how many people it would take to restrain a cow without this cage. Every year in the United States, Approximately 113,000 wild bison are born. According to updated statistics as of 2021, there are a total of 513 bison farms spread evenly across the country, with each farm varying in size. Here are some of the states with the largest populations of wild bison in the United States, with the Dakotas standing out with 104 farms. Additionally, Nebraska ranks second on the list of states with the most wild bison farms, with about 23,000 bison. Every day, the farmers release them into the pasture so that they can freely graze. The calf will also feed alongside its mother, and all are protected by a fence surrounding the grazing area. Wagyu cattle originated in Japan, where farms implement a meticulously controlled and selective breeding process, focusing on producing beef with the desired marbling. A notable distinction between Wagyu cattle and other types of cattle, solely based on their diet of dry grass or fermented feed, is that as calves, they are supplemented with sweet treats and even chocolate in their diet.
Wagyu cattle are not only cared for, but also undergo a special and strict dietary regimen. Their diet includes corn, hay, and a variety of grain supplements, meticulously controlled to ensure their fat content reaches the highest standards. If you find this dish enticing, please leave a 1 in the comments section below. To produce purebred Wagyu cattle, the breeding cows will undergo artificial insemination. After approximately 9 months, the calves will be born. We will drink milk to regularly monitor our health status. They will be fattened and raised for several months and will then be sold to livestock farms in the network. Farmers take meticulous care of each small cow, ensuring good health and growth. The process of regular hoof trimming is a crucial part of Wagyu cattle care. Not only to ensure meat quality, but also to prevent issues related to hoof diseases. Cattle hooves can grow excessively long and sharp, causing difficulty in their movement and providing favorable conditions for bacterial growth. Therefore, regular hoof trimming becomes extremely important. Furthermore, conducting massage sessions for cattle not only enhances muscle flexibility, but also improves blood circulation in the body. Massage not only helps reduce stress and fatigue for cattle, but also plays a role in enhancing their ability to resist issues related to joints and muscles. When the cattle reach the ideal weight and age, they are transported to the processing plant. The classification process is divided into two main categories, productivity and meat quality. The quality of Wagyu beef is assessed through a grading system consisting of a letter and a number where the letter can range from A to C and the number can range from 1 to 5. An A5 rating represents the highest quality that Wagyu beef can achieve, often reserved for cattle raised on the best feed and given special care.
Wagyu beef is processed through a special technique, unlike mass production processes in factories. Each processing worker is experienced and meticulous in every step of the process. They separate each part, such as the loin and belly, and categorize each section clearly. After the classification process, Wagyu beef is packaged using vacuum sealed bags or boxes, then stored at low temperatures and transported to the point of consumption. To indulge in this unique dish, you need to be willing to spend thousands of dollars. If given the opportunity, would you want to give it a try? A great trenching machine. A stone grinding device operating at full capacity. Today we continue to come to the most modern heavy machinery and agricultural equipment. Don't forget to leave a share with your loved ones. And now let's get started. The original 3 meter Cultural 3TC double knife roller launched at Agrotechnica 2019 and has been joined by 5 meter and 6 meter widths, can be both front and rear mounted. Designed to produce an intensive crushing effect in tough stubbles such as oilseed rape and maize and to incorporate cover crops at speeds of up to 20 kilometers an hour, 6 knives per roller are arranged across the entire working width. The angle of the blades is adjustable and the compact diameter of the roller body allows for a high number of revolutions and cuts. This excavator has three soil tillage beds with each bed having three rows of tillage knives placed 50 centimeters apart. The tillage beds are connected to each other by essential components with fixed mesh brackets to keep the tillage knives even and at the correct distance. With its features and design, this excavator will increase productivity and efficiency in the process of tilling the soil and cultivating grass for this Christmas pine forest. The Mastenbroke 2015 is capable of digging drainage trenches with a depth and width of up to two meters and one and a half meters respectively and can work in a variety of soils. It has the ability to work efficiently and quickly, helping to reduce flood damage and ensure the safety of construction and agriculture. The device has two colors, yellow and red, for you to choose from. You can observe how this machine works confidently. Even with dry or swampy terrain, it can get through and get the job done with ease.
T1460 is a surface mining instrument used for drilling and geological assessment of surface soils and rocks in Indonesia. It is designed to work on a wide variety of stones and can accurately assess earth and rock depths. This tool is used in mining operations, geology, pile drilling, construction, and other applications involving geological assessment of the surface. The T1460 can work on various soils and rocks, from clay to granite. It can drill through rock layers with varying hardness, from soft to very hard. However, to use this tool requires an experienced and fully trained technician to be able to use it safely and effectively. The FIT 930 Vario, combined with the Opal Agri Hector, is creating terrifying noises that shatter the silent autumn air. This tillage machine can work up to a depth of 50 centimeters. However, it is currently working on a field that has harvested wheat and been limed, tilling the soil to a depth of 30 centimeters. This task is necessary to improve the soil for the upcoming crop. In recent years, a bauxite mining company in Guinea has been utilizing the Vertgen surface miner technology as a standard mining method. The Vertgen surface miner is an advanced surface mining technology that allows companies to skip preparatory steps before excavation, saving costs and increasing mining efficiency. With this technology, surface miners have high-end cutting tools to break rock and drill holes on the surface. It cuts and destroys the soil and rock layers on the surface, removing bauxite and other minerals inside the soil. Then, the materials are transported to the plant for processing and separating bauxite from the ground. With the development of this surface mining technology, bauxite mining companies in Guinea have achieved high efficiency and optimized the mining process. The Vertgen surface miner has become an important technology and a decisive factor in developing and improving bauxite mining productivity in Guinea. The Vermeer T1255TL surface excavation machine is one of the largest earth moving machines produced by Vermeer Corporation. It's designed to excavate various hard soil types like rock, clay and other soils. The machine is equipped with a Caterpillar C18 Acer diesel engine with a power output of up to 600 horsepower. This allows the device to dig soil quickly and efficiently. The Vermeer T1255TL surface excavation machine is designed with a dual training system to improve stability and digging ability. It also has a specialized cutting component called a cutter head to cut and grind various types of soil. If you are looking for a high powered stone grinding machine, pay attention to the machine from Valentini Serio Cosimo Company. I won't comment further. You should observe and evaluate it yourself. If you find it interesting, please like and share the video.
If you're not interested in stone crushing, you could also consider the rock grabber machine currently running on the screen. Just a quick glance and any of us can understand how it works. It grabs rocks and dumps them into a container to be hauled away. Our video is almost over and I want you to change your mood a bit with these amazing heavy trucks. The vehicle is equipped with a grab crane to easily lift 30 to 40 meter long logs onto the trunk. The drivers then continue to transport 45 cubic meters of their wood across hundreds of kilometers of snowy terrain to the processing plant. Heavy trucks carrying hundreds of blocks of wood from the forest are often designed with large sizes and high payloads to transport large and heavy wood blocks. This truck usually has a payload volume of 25 tons or more and uses a powerful engine to operate on rugged terrain in the forest. The body of the car is designed with high quality materials resistant to shocks and impacts from large wooden blocks. The truck is also equipped with auxiliary equipment such as a crane, a conveyor belt to lift and stack the wood on the vehicle, and a suspension and brake system to ensure safety when operating on rocky or slippery terrain. However, transporting hundreds of blocks of wood on a large truck also have risks. To ensure safety, drivers need to have good driving experience and skills to overcome difficult roads and avoid traffic accidents. This is our channel. This is the channel manager. This is the video editor. And this is the content creator. Hello everyone! Are you familiar with the model of raising calves in boxes? This is a completely new method of animal husbandry applied by the people of Russia. Are you curious about this method? Join me in exploring this fascinating journey right now! We all know that Russia is a country with a vast agricultural area. With a total area of 17,098,246 square kilometers, or 6,601,670 square miles, Russia tops the list of countries with the largest agricultural land in the world. Thanks to its vast land advantage, Russia has introduced a unique model of box calf farming. Have you had the opportunity to explore this method? Newborn calves are specially cared for in boxes after being separated from their mothers. This helps ensure the safety of the calves, especially when their immune system is not yet fully developed. This method not only safeguards their health, but also prevents the spread of diseases from one calf to another. Would you like to visit this farm? If yes, please leave the number one in the comments. Russia is not only one of the countries with vast agricultural land, but it is also considered the largest beef producer recently in the world. 
Accounting for approximately 40% of the total beef production, Russia has made a significant contribution to the global livestock industry. This not only showcases Russia's economic strength in the agricultural sector, but also establishes its crucial role in supplying beef to the global market. During the farming process, Russian farmers pay special attention to caring for each calf, ensuring that they receive an adequate supply of nutrients for robust development. The calves are kept in a carefully monitored environment, controlling temperature, light, and sleep to optimize their health and growth. They also need a specially designed diet tailored to meet the specific needs of newborn calves, helping them build immunity and good health from the early days of life. The young calves are carefully cared for in individual pens for a period of six to eight weeks. They are then moved to live in a small group with their peers. As they continue to grow, this grouping process continues until they integrate into the larger herd. During this stage, milk remains a primary source of nutrition to ensure the health and comprehensive development of the calves. As cattle mature, they begin to adapt to fermented feed to sustain their body development. This requires dedicated management from farmers, including selecting appropriate feed and maintaining the best living environment for the livestock. Through these efforts, the produced beef is sure to achieve high quality, ensuring safety and satisfaction for consumers. Do you want to explore the beef processing process at large-scale plants in Russia? Join us in visiting one of the largest beef processing plants in the country. When the cattle meet the standards for meat production, they are carefully transported to the processing plant. Here, the meat processing and cleaning process takes place meticulously to ensure maximum quality for the final product. You'll witness the professionalism and dedication of the workers at the plant as they are committed to ensuring that each product meets high standards of hygiene and quality. After undergoing the process and handling, the workers here creatively produce various delicious dishes such as sausages, smoked meats, and more. Not only a meat source, but the cattle here also contribute to the milk supply. Typically, each dairy cow provides milk for a period ranging from two to four years, as the milk quality may decrease after time. The decision on the timing of milking plays a crucial role in livestock management, 
ensuring uniformity and high quality of the product. After harvesting milk from the cows, it needs to be bottled for sale at grocery stores. Each batch of milk undergoes inspection before bottling to ensure safety. The bottling machine pumps milk from the container into the bottles. When the bottle is full, the machine automatically caps it and prints a label on the cap before it exits the machine. Next, we'll explore dairy farms in the United States, known as a renowned livestock center worldwide. With extensive scale, the United States has established a modern and sustainable livestock system contributing significantly to the diversity and stability of the agricultural industry. Dairy farms here operate as a sophisticated system equipped with state-of-the-art facilities. Diligent care is given to each cow, ensuring optimal health and the highest quality for milk production. The livestock barns are not only kept clean to create a comfortable environment for the cattle, but also utilize efficient, automated milking machines. This ensures a smooth and convenient production process. The feed for cattle consists of green or dry grass, and farmers also supplement with protein-rich dry grains to enhance the flavor and quality of the milk. Managing and caring for hundreds of dairy cows on large farms is a challenging task that requires dedication, patience, and a profound understanding of the needs and health of each cow. This involves monitoring nutrition, health, and living conditions to ensure each cow achieves optimal well-being and high milk productivity. The process of milking cows not only requires precision, but also demands high standards of hygiene. To ensure hygiene safety, all machinery and equipment involved need to be regularly maintained in an aseptic condition. This involves implementing periodic sterilization processes and ensuring each milking session adheres to the highest safety and hygiene standards. The livestock industry is one of the industries that play an essential role in the economy and human life. In the past, animal husbandry was a traditional and manual profession, with no significant support for modern technologies. 
However, with the development of technology, modern machines have become an indispensable part. They help farmers manage their livestock more intelligently and reduce the effort and time required for livestock care activities. Maize silage to produce ruminant forage is an important and common process in the livestock industry. This is the optimal method to convert corn into a nutritious, easy to digest food source for ruminants such as cows, goats, sheep. The chopped corn is then placed in the silage to start the fermentation process. The silage medium can be a cellar, tank or specialized tank. The conditions required for silage include precisely adjusted temperature and humidity to create the ideal environment for beneficial bacteria. To ensure an efficient composting process, bulldozers are used to stir and mix thoroughly throughout the process. This speeds up the brewing process and ensures that the mixture is evenly brewed. Providing high quality animal food is extremely important to ensure their best health and development. The Cloverdale Model 650 is a specialized forage grinder for grain and hay. With the ability to grind evenly, the machine can process a large amount of food in a short time. When used to grind six bales, the machine can do the job in less than 10 minutes. Impressive, isn't it? The Cloverdale Model 650 can simultaneously hold three bales of corn and three alfalfa. The machine's features make grinding and mixing these ingredients easier and more efficient than ever. With this machine, livestock farms can save time and improve the efficiency of their livestock feed production. If you find the information we provide helpful, please click like, share, and subscribe. The versatile Triolet TrioTrack 2 2000 self-propelled TMR mixer is used to cut, mix, and feed livestock silage. Produced by Triolet, a leading agricultural machinery company, the machine has a smart and advanced design, which helps to operate efficiently and quickly, saving farmers time and effort. This machine can cut and mix feed with many different ingredients such as straw, grass, silage, corn, soybeans, providing a balanced diet for livestock. In addition, it has the ability to ferment animal feed, enhance beneficial microflora, and improve animal health. With the self-propelled function, the Triolet TrioTrack 2 2000 TMR mixer can move and operate on many different terrains, helping to improve production efficiency in the shortest time. This is the world's largest feed mixer, manufactured by USA Equipment a pioneer in the field of agricultural equipment manufacturing. This giant machine was developed to mix and distribute feed quickly inside the barn, saving the breeder time and energy. 
With a fermentation capacity of up to 30 tons, this giant four axle machine is equipped with three drive shafts and an Allison 4700 automatic transmission, making it easier to control and operate. In addition, the machine is constructed of high quality stainless steel and hard ox metal, ensuring durability and reliability during use. The specially designed four blade fan ensures optimal mixing of feed and mineral supplements, even in large quantities. Cargo can be unloaded from all four sides and the propeller speed can be adjusted to facilitate faster unloading until the wagon is almost empty. With a commitment to constant innovation and improvement, USA Equipment continues to produce bigger and better equipment, enhancing production capacity for the livestock industry. The Delivery Box Automatic Feeding System is an efficient solution for feeding 10,000 dairy cows. With its wide door, fast conveyor, and a maximum capacity of 1,600 cubic feet, the Delivery Box allows for longer feeding intervals by reducing the frequency of necessary feeding trips for your herd. This system works best when combined with a stationary mixer to provide maximum fuel efficiency for all types of feed. No longer will you need to use mixing knives for feeding. The LCDB takes care of that. It reduces the need for investing in additional equipment and training staff for manual feeding. With this system, your cows will be supplied with the right amount and type of feed that aligns with their nutritional needs. Next is a special device called Delaval Brushes. This device is designed to enhance the welfare and comfort of dairy cows. These brushes play a vital role in improving the overall health and productivity of cows by providing them with a convenient and enjoyable way to satisfy their natural instincts for grooming. Delaval brushes provide both psychological and physical stimulation for cows, preventing boredom and encouraging positive behaviors. Cows that have access to the brushes often exhibit less aggressive behavior and tend to become more relaxed and content. Bobman Promax is a product of Ulick Plus, a company specializing in waste care and treatment equipment in the livestock industry. This is a special excavator designed for the collection, treatment, and recycling of waste from barns and livestock systems. With its compact size, the machine can easily reach narrow and hard to reach areas in the barn, helping to collect with the efficiently. Do you want to own this amazing tool for your farm? The Lely Discovery 120 Manure Removal Robot is a revolutionary product in barn cleaning. Specially designed for dense barn floors, this product has a name that offers a wider range of accessibility than traditional excavators. The difference between the Lely Discovery 120 Manure Removal Robot compared to a conventional excavator is that the collector does not need to push the manure, but only needs to use the vacuuming feature to collect manure from the floor of the barn. This makes cleaning the barn faster and more efficient and minimizes the spread of manure-borne pathogens. This product is designed to work in barn environments and is capable of working continuously for many hours.
With the Dehemach box spreader, you can trust in its performance and continuous working capabilities. The machine has a large capacity, allowing you to load a significant amount of material and continue spreading without interruptions. Additionally, its user-friendly design ensures that even beginners can easily operate this spreader. It provides flexibility through interchangeable connections, allowing for versatile usage. The hydraulic-driven seat system, supported by a mini-shovel hydraulic system, provides smooth and efficient operation. The spreader is equipped with two heavy-duty piston motors on the rollers, ensuring there are no bridging issues during operation. This guarantees a smooth and effective material spreading process. Let's continue to learn about the world's most modern feeding robots. One Two Feed is an advanced automatic feeding system designed to feed domestic animals automatically and efficiently. This system saves time and effort in feeding animals. It has the ability to automatically recognize and distribute the right amount of food at the right time. This helps to ensure that the animal is provided with an adequate amount of food throughout the feeding period. The machine is also capable of tracking and recording data on the amount of food consumed by each animal. Through connected technologies, this data can be monitored and analyzed to make smart decisions in livestock and nutrition management. The system is built to provide you with a better life on the farm. It not only saves time and effort in animal feeding, but also optimizes livestock productivity and reduces food waste. This advanced technology brings numerous benefits to animal management and care. The best feeding strategy for optimizing milk and meat production is to provide fresh, accurately measured, and properly mixed feed eight times a day. With the vector system, each group of animals receives appropriate feed portions multiple times throughout the day. This automatic feeding system ensures a constant supply of fresh feed at the feed barrier. The Lely Vector Machine is equipped with sensors and intelligent software that enable it to accurately determine the amount of feed needed to be delivered to the livestock. It has the ability to move autonomously and stop at feeding stations, minimizing feed losses and optimizing the feeding process. With its combination of automation, flexibility and convenience, the Lely Vector has become a highly popular product in the livestock industry. It is also integrated with a smart monitoring system that allows managers to remotely monitor and control the machine's operations. This enhances reliability and reduces potential issues during operation. First up, we have the Sherpa, the latest in self-propelled feed mixing technology. This machine is extremely maneuverable with its rear rotating shaft, making it perfect for even the narrowest of them yards. 
you can control all the operating modes with ease on its smart display. And get this, it can even mix silage and coarse forage together before delivering it straight to the mouths of those hungry dairy cows. Yummy! Next we have a machine that looks simple, but don't let that fool you. It's an absolute workhorse. It helps the farmer break down those pre-packed bales, making it easier for the cows to eat and digest. And the best part? You can even use it to mix feed and line the pens. Now that's a two for one, folks. These machines are perfect for those long work days, whether it's night or day. And get this, with modern technology, you only need 10 workers to run the farm compared to the 100 workers you need without these machines. All the processes inside the machine are monitored through cameras, ensuring the safety of all the cows. This German-made machine has a front cutter that cuts the food which is then sucked through a pipe to the storage tank where it's mixed before being pumped to feed the cows. The Vortex system even pushes the food closer to the cows so they don't have to work for their meals. No more shovels needed. And speaking of hard work, have you ever seen a machine with a broom on it? Well, we have, and let me tell you, it's a game changer. This machine helps clean up the barn and even sprays mulch. Talk about multitasking. But that's not all, folks. All the waste is collected for composting. So it can be used as organic fertilizer. This may seem like a small initiative, but it's had a huge impact. The waste is pushed down a pipe and collected in a huge storage tank. And let me tell you, that tank is big. Just make sure it doesn't have a lid or it might explode. And now, it's time to harvest that milk. This automatic robot is a lifesaver. Milking those cows without any human power. The laser even finds the cow's nipples and installs the milking device. And while it's a little different from milking goats, you'll be amazed by the technology used in these machines. And if you're a milk drinker, this video is for you and your kids. You'll see the process of milking cows in Germany, where all the cows are placed in a circular milking system. The indicators are even displayed on a screen for accuracy. And for those small-scale farmers, there's even a small breast pump for harvesting milk. Convenient and easy. But producing good milk starts with a good diet and a clean, scientific breeding process. And if you saw our last video, you may remember the radish harvesting machine. 
This radish is grown for silage to feed the livestock. And from there, the process continues with excavators, crushers, and mixers to bring you the finished product. Finally, today's video will end here. You and I have both learned about new technologies applied to cows, as well as the process to create cow's milk. Did you not like this video? Why not comment to let us know? Now please stay healthy and watch the next videos. Goodbye! This is our channel. This is the channel manager. This is the video editor. And this is the content creator. Hello everyone. Have you ever wondered how Australian farmers' livestock can traverse vast distances to reach remote places around the world? Today, we'll uncover the secrets behind the process of transporting millions of sheep pigs and cattle to different continents. Australia is renowned for its large and high quality sheep population, and the export of live sheep plays a crucial role in introducing their agricultural products to the global market. To ensure quality, not all animals are eligible to participate in the export journey. To meet stringent standards, farmers must provide special care for their sheep. Western Australia stands out with its live sheep exports, being the only state in Australia to undertake this practice. For nearly half a century, the primary income source for Western Australian livestock farmers has come from transporting live sheep to Middle Eastern countries via sea routes. Every year, over 2 billion livestock animals are moved through long-distance routes, exported worldwide for breeding, bolstering the livestock market and the slaughter process. This entire process generates hundreds of billions of US dollars annually. Thousands of sheep are transported to the Fremantle port via trucks from farms, preparing for health and quality inspections following stringent international standards. 
At the same time, the shearing of their fur is done to reduce the risk of temperature rise during transportation. To avoid unnecessary stress or potential harm, the management of the sheep is always conducted calmly. A sliding chute system is set up to help them move onto the truck conveniently and easily. Each transport truck is designed with two separate levels. Each level is divided into four compartments, and each compartment can accommodate 9 to 12 sheep. This ensures that they have enough space and comfort throughout the transportation journey. The sheep are led through ramps and corridors, guiding them onto the ship where they'll spend the next 10 days at sea. Throughout the process, the welfare of the sheep is closely monitored. Water and food are provided to ensure the animals stay hydrated and nourished throughout the journey. Ventilation systems are installed to maintain a comfortable temperature for the sheep. The sight of sheep being loaded onto the ship for direct export from the port of Fremantle is a distinctive image of the connection between agriculture and international trade. This is a simple transportation process and a cultural and product exchange from one place to another. So, how do we transport large livestock like cattle? Join us and watch the entire video to find the answer. To ensure the safe and efficient transportation of cattle, selecting an appropriate truck is crucial. These trucks need to have a large size to comfortably accommodate the entire herd. Furthermore, they are equipped with modern features such as an effective ventilation system, protective trays, and a robust safety system. Cooling features and non-slip floors are specially integrated to ensure a comfortable and safe environment for the cattle throughout the journey.